Hey guys, it's Melody Lane. Hello. So I'm doing a project. I think this may be a long video. I'm only doing the, a video on this. It probably will not be edited. So if you want to see the final result and you're watching the replay, skip to the end. Um, or watch in double speed. You can watch YouTube videos in double speed. It might be more enjoyable that way. Uh, but if you're here live, please join in and watch. If you have to leave, leave, come back. I just wanted to make this, and I know so many of you like to watch these things. I like to watch videos on this, and so I thought I would come do it live and chat with you and let you guys help me decide because I'm not completely sure what I'm doing yet. I have some ideas, and but... I don't know, I might need your opinion. And there is a little bit of a lag, so sorry for that. Um, so if you don't like live videos, just don't watch this one. But thank you all of you who are here and to join me on a Sunday afternoon of crafting. Um, okay, so I'm using Chalk Couture. Some of you here in the chat are on my team, like Jamie and Christy and Huntress Habits. She has some videos on YouTube also. Um, I'm not sure who else is here right now. Who's on my team? I have 54 people, I think, on my team right now, which is incredible because I just started this. So I just, I want to play with this and want to let you guys play with me. All right, let's get to this. I'm using a huge chalkboard. This is one. This isn't even that huge. I have a huge order coming with a really huge teal chalkboard. And that complete order is kind of like it's free because I've already earned the commission that totals that order. So it's like free stuff. Okay, let's go to the chalkboard. I'm trying to do all this. Okay, so this chalkboard, let me, there's the end, like you can't even see the end of it. It's just this I chalkboard I got from Amazon and then you still can't see the end of it. It's almost the end, like right there's the end. And the sides frame look just like the top and bottom. It's distressed, it's a restaurant chalkboard. And I tested it right here with this little flower because it's not like a normal one I don't know I just want to test it make sure it worked with the chalk paste hey Terrence and Susan and Linda and Carol oh and Jamie she's on my team the other Jamie I have three Jamie's on my team Jamie Scout is it Shallon uh, there is a link to this chalkboard in the description maybe I think it's in the description. If it's not, I have an Amazon shop and it is in there because I just put it in there so to make sure it was in there. Hey, Carol, I missed you yesterday on my golf cart ride. I was thinking of you. At least I didn't see you um, chatting. Okay. All right, let's get... Okay, so my idea is... Okay, I'm going to do these bunnies. I didn't cut them apart yet, so I have to cut these apart, but I wanted to show you who's talking. I think my Alexa in the other room was talking. Um, I wanted to show you these parts have like this has a number three and then this has a number three. So these go with that and that this one all goes with this one. And I was looking, you got to add the tail and then you can add little flex on the tail so you can layer these and I have so many ideas, but um, what happened to that? I, that wasn't there a minute ago, that fold. Oh, well. So I'm going to have this bucket on here somewhere, and I'm going to have this little guy standing up looking in the bucket. And I think I might have him standing on a carrot. And I think I'm going to put carrots in the bucket or tulips. And then I thought I could put tulips and a carrot coming out of the bucket like I might do that and then I'm gonna have a bunny like this bunny holding this and I also thought about having one holding the rain the rain the umbrella 
with having it rain and things like that. And then I also want to do not just white bunnies, uh, but some other color bunnies. Like, I, I don't have brown or the chocolate one yet. I'm getting more of these. But I thought I could do a bunny like in this color or do this as like his tummy instead of a pink tummy, do a tummy like this. It's not all bunnies are white, right? Maybe I could the peach bunnies. <laughs> this would be a good color though too, instead of the pink, to not have them all have pink ears and stuff, to maybe have the peachy color. So I'm not sure yet. And then I thought about doing the spring because the bunnies don't take up this whole board. Um, so I had this spring and it's, when I put these down, I'm like, oh my gosh, it's so huge. But I don't really need the letters this far apart because these stickers will not be here. Hey, Glenda. Yeah, you can, I went to Walmart last night and bought a whole bunch of, not just chalkboards, but other things to put them on, like wooden trays and uh, like a wooden frame that has, you'll, you'll just have to see it. Um, so I thought about that, and then I thought about putting this in the corner up here. But I'm not sure how much room I have because then the spring was taking up so much room. So I think I'm going to have to put the spring on first so I know how much room I have. And I think I don't... Oh, you guys can't see this that well. I think I don't want this on there yet because I don't have the brown. Like, this needs to be in a darker color. I don't even have black yet. I forgot to order black. I mean, I've ordered it now, but I forgot to order it right away. Um... So, and then I also thought about, so I, I want you guys to look at this and tell me what you think. So here's some of my, there's this one. I thought, can you guys see the glare? Okay, there you can see better. I thought about ha putting, have an awesome spring. What do you guys think about that? Should I do the awesome spring? If I should do the awesome spring, put awesome or awesome spring in the chat. Check your spelling of spring. Thank you, Jean. I do know how to spell spring. Okay, so yes to the awesome spring. Okay, so I'm going to get this out. I even thought about putting a cupcake on there and having the bunny stand up to the cupcake. Like you could just do so much. I'm not putting the cactus on my spring thing. Yes, yeah, so you guys all like awesome spring. Okay, so I'm going to take that out too. Okay, what I think I'm going to do right now, I can always add to this later. I'm also going to put some flowers here and there. And I thought about putting hashtag spring, so I went ahead and cut out the hashtag, but I'm probably not going to do it because I'm going to do have an awesome spring. So, okay. And I might add that later if I have room. So first, because these will have to dry after each other, I think I'm going to, let me cut these out first. Sorry, guys. I think I'm going to put these down first, but then I need, oops, I don't, do I want to, yeah, I want to cut that way, yeah, okay, sorry guys. You like the bucket filled with tulips? What else do you guys like? Do you, do you guys think I should do tulips? If you think tulips, put tulips. If you think just carrots, do carrots. I could do East, the Easter eggs too. Okay. I also thought about doing Happy Spring, but I kind of like Awesome. Okay. 
Linda likes hashtag spring. Thanks guys for coming. Okay, tulips, carrots, eggs, yes, tulips, tulips. Okay, I'll do tulips, but I might put a carrot in the middle of the tulips just for fun. We'll see. Okay, somebody says I didn't spell spring right. Oh, yeah, these are in the wrong order. I do know how to spell it. Okay, because... I, I'm just going to have to start on this end. And I can't see myself and what you guys can see. So let me move this over so you guys can see that better. I'm going to, I just have to start on this end because I don't know where this is going to end up. And I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do have an awesome like this or have an, uh, I don't know. I'm not sure, maybe. See, if I put it up too high, I can't do that thing in the corner. I don't have to do the thing in the corner. But then this way, I have more room for the bucket and the, now nah, let's just do this. Do you guys, let's, let's put it up here. Have an awesome, are you guys good with that? Oh, you can't see, let me move it over. Are you guys good with that? I got the chalkboard from uh, Amazon. I have a link to it in my Amazon store in the description below. Ian, <laughs> the off-kilter crafter sent me a message through Amazon. So, okay, we're, I see a yes. Yes. Yeah, I kind of like this too. Okay. So I'm going to start over here. Or should I start here? I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Okay, <laughs> now what color? Should I do each? I don't know. I don't know what color, guys. Colors. I'm probably going to do more than one color. And I have this tile to defuzz everything. But I think on this board, it's not smooth. So I think these will come off pretty easy. But I'm going to go ahead and fuzz it. That's so it doesn't stick too much to the board. Let me see if I can do these all on top of each other, if it'll work. Yeah, you can order any supplies Amazon has through my link. If you click on my shop link and then go through my store and just search Amazon, I will get credit for everything you buy. Tilt have an awesome. Like this? Yeah, I think I like that too. Thanks, Renee. So Renee says aquamarine. Oh, I don't have aquamarine. I don't have it yet. But I do have Caribbean, which is a lot like aquamarine. I also have the titeal. I can mix a little bit of the two. And lilac. I don't I have orchid. I don't have I do you like my labels? I made labels with my Cricut. My Cricut wrote them. Hey, Ian. Ian, I got your message. Should I play your message live? 
Ian, tell me if I can play your message so everyone hears it. Um... Tulips, orchid, spring, and yellow. What did, um, Renee, what did you say again? Oh, bubblegum. I have bubblegum already out. And I have lemon yellow. I don't have canary yet. And I, ha I also have orange or school bus. And then I have orange, orange, red, and red. This is also a pretty color. I don't know, we'll see. And this one, purple, that's pretty. I don't know, we'll see. I got another message. Sure, feel free to play it. Alexa, will you play Ian's message? Sorry, I couldn't tell whose messages you want. Okay. Alexa, can you play me my messages? Two for Melody Lane, two for Ian. I'm watching these live on YouTube right now, and I can't wait to see how cute this spring puck is. <laughs> Received in the last five minutes. Uh, By the way, hi everyone. <laughs> Received just now. The first one was he was watching me live. The second one was for all you guys. Okay, this one I'm not gonna put on because it's gonna cover this up and I want the letter closer to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these and you guys can't see, sorry. I will move that there. See, this will cover that up. Okay. Um. I need some kind of plan. I really kind of like mix, mixing colors. Have you guys noticed that? Should I mix the colors? Like, I'm gonna put on some Thai teal. Rainbow letters, yes, pastel. Okay. This might be bit of a mess. I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna try to kind of go rainbowish pastelish. Tammy says use a different color for each. I think I'm gonna go kind of pastelish. Rainbowish. This will be the last one. I'm just going to set the lids on these because This one's a little thicker. I've used this one a lot. This is one of the ones Ken has sent me. So it's older. It's actually from November when he sent me to my box.
Whoops. Now I'm making a mess. this in. This one's never been opened. Ian, you should totally get into this chalk couture. It's so much fun. I know you would love it because it's so quick. Well, okay. It's really quick if you do one color and do just one transfer. But because I'm like creating something with many colors and many different transfers and I'm not sure what I'm doing and I'm taking your advice, it's taking going to take a little longer. This is Caribbean. This color is actually discontinued, but they still have it in the store. So I've ordered another one since in my last order I placed. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> I was just going to put the lid back on it. Okay. Let's see. smaller one. I can put this back in because it's all purple. This next layer will not be. know how this is gonna be let's put it in my jar this is my catch-all jar that I just put mixed in I don't think I had enough of the teal on there I think I'm gonna add more teal we'll see what happens I don't know if they'll do anything. Ian, that's what I said, as I need another craft to do. That's what I told Ken. And then I tried it. And then I thought, my mom could do this. My mom says she's not crafty. She has no interest in paper crafting or doing anything like what the cricket is or anything, no interest at all. And I thought my mom would like this. And yeah, she does. She wants to come over sometime and play, which she's never ever in her life wanted to play before with me and my crafts. Okay, I'm gonna take this off. Okay, the next letter is gonna have a little more teal. Okay, I have a little thing of water over here. So I'm just putting these in the water. Let me show you my water container. <laughs> do, you, do you guys know what this is? Guess what that is? Do you want me to tell you? It's from a roasted chicken I bought at Walmart. <laughs> okay, so now this has to dry before I can lay this down because this is gonna lay on top of that G a little bit. So that was my plan. If I need to let things dry, I can at least then cut these out while I do that. Oh, and something else. 
everyone says to do that I, I have not done it yet because I can tell the difference of the back and white you want to put the transfer back on the shiny side and I can completely see the shiny side I have no reason to write back or front but I might forget what letter this is and it'll just be easier to put a G on there and an explanation point on the back of this one just so I know where those go back So now I'm going to cut this and read your comments. I don't think I need to cut these two apart. I think I can do it with those. Okay, are we dry? No, we're not. Here, let me speed up the drying process. stop that G a little but I can go back over this G put the G right on top of it again and go over it a little more so I think I will do that and add a little more teal not right now but after I get more of it done So the N is next, correct? We're all gonna correct my spelling, please. If you see me do the wrong thing. Okay. Mm, no, I think that's too high. Now I have to guess on this. Oh, you know, this is why the We Are Memory Keepers laser comes handy. I've never used it. Does that look straight? I think so. It's good enough for me. Okay, so let's do more of this teal. I lost the teal brush. Oh, it's right here. Okay, what? Oh, green will come next. And I totally should have stirred up the green before I did this. I don't have a pastel -y green. Okay, here's my greens. Let's mix these two. Hold on, let me get a new jar. I got these jars on Amazon too. Okay. Oh, that's thick.
We'll see what I get. Oh yeah, add white. That's a great idea. I think I will add white to the line. I'm gonna need to order another one of these things. Okay, where's my white? I have two white ones open. Because Ken sent me one, and I got one in my kit. Okay. I'm going to mix the green and white. Thank you. Fatima, I don't know how to say your name. That is a great idea. Look at that green. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love it. That is such a pretty color. Okay. Okay, spring. The eye. I'll put the eye closer. Okay, let me get. Where is this? Let me wipe this one. I'm gonna mix them a little. Oh, look how pretty that is. Where's my jar? My extra jar. Oh, here it is. That is so pretty. If anything, this at the end will be brown. Take this off. Pretty. Oh, see, I didn't clear that enough right there. Let me just take a little bit. People have used like a paintbrush and I have a drawer full of paintbrushes on the other side of the room. Okay, let me put this in the water. Oh, and I got some purple right here. That must have been from where I spilled that on the transfer. Okay, I cannot wait to redo that G. It's really bugging me. That is really pretty. Thank you so much. Oh, I just put the wrong lid on there. That's the wrong lid. Hello. I'm trying to keep the same lids on the products. I'm gonna wipe this off. It doesn't normally take this long. 
It's just this word. The other stuff doesn't take that long. Okay. This was the in. And the I. So that will go next. This goes over here, waiting for it to be. Hey, Angela. That's a good idea. When you skew the letters, they don't have to be straight. And I love them. I don't like things straight anyway. Like, I like things off center. And okay, what are we doing now? We got all the bunnies cut. I think I'm gonna cut cut these carrots. And I think I'm gonna keep the tops with the carrots for right now. I don't know. I'm probably gonna end up cutting them apart. Let me blow dry the end a little bit. That color looks almost yellow. I think I need to add a little green to it. Okay, I'm going to clean this and oh, I always do that. It sticks to this paper towel. But then I can just wipe off the paper towel piece. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry real fast. It's actually almost dry. I'm gonna go over this end again. And then after I get a little further, I'm gonna go over that G again because I don't like that messed up part. I'm gonna make this green a little more green. I'm gonna keep the what I did because I think that just belongs a little further over. I think I'm gonna use this one a little bit and mix this. Did I mix it in the same? No. I'm going to get another jar. I might need to order more jars. <laughs> I didn't even stir this up. I guess I should. I've never used this one yet. take a little bit of this and put in here and maybe a little white
Okay, adding some of this. Needs to be brightened up a little. Thank you guys for helping answer all the questions. If I sit and read all the comments, it's gonna we're gonna be here till tomorrow. Okay. This is better. So I'm going to lay this on top of this one. Oh, that's not exact. That looks pretty good. This is more green. And I'm going to use this color. It's already mixed up, so I'm just going to use it next or <laughs> further down the line. That's the problem I was having. I'm like, oh, it kind of looks yellow and not. Green and I, it just looked too yellow. Okay, now we'll see what happens. I hope it's not uglier. I mean, the last one was actually pretty, but. It'll get prettier. I know this isn't the prettiest. I actually like the other one, the other color better, but when I'm going down the line, it just wasn't gonna work. Okay. Okay, that has to dry. Let me dry it. And I could just wipe this all off and start over if I wanted to, but I'm not going to do that. About using the Teflon mat? Let me look. Do a carrot for the eye? Oh my gosh, that's brilliant. Oh yeah, do the Teflon mats for cleaning them. Yeah, I actually have two t black Teflon mats underneath this. And some under my table. Okay, she says a carrot for the eye. What do you guys think? that this part I would put right on top of this. Is that big enough? I'm gonna wait for an answer. J tell me carrot or eye. Here's the eye.
Yes for the carrot. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Glenda, for bringing that to my attention. Or I think, did you bring that to my attention? Okay, we're all doing carrot. One per Terrence wants the eye. Terrence, you're outvoted. Oh, I didn't fuzz this. So do this and, oh, I'm going to have to do this after it dries because that won't, that's going to cover that up. Should I do, do the carrot in orange and this part in green and then continue on with my rainbow idea? I think that's what I'm going to do. Okay. Is that, I think that's high enough, right? By the time I put this on or is it too high? It'll be like. No, I better put lower. And straight. She's already started doing them straight. Okay. It's a crooked one. So, yeah, that'll work, right? My towel is dry. I just wanted the fuzziness to stick to it. Sue says use the top of the other carrot. This one? Okay. Or is that too high? I'll lower this just a tad. And then when I put the carrot top on, that'll be good. Okay, let's do... Okay, you guys gotta help me with color. This is orange and this is school bus. Orange or school or bus? Oh yeah, this one in the video, it doesn't, it looks more yellow than this. It's, it's not. Somebody says to mix them. I knew that was going to happen. I'm not getting out another <laughs> jar, but I will I'll both put both colors on. Oh, this one's dry. This one needs a lot of water. I'm going to go put some water in it.
first. I'm back. Um, yeah, a palette would probably be useful when mixing small amounts. I do have a palette. I'm not sure I have room for it. See it. I'm thinking this one is one of the original formulas of orange. And not their new formula. This is going to work. Okay. I have a mess. I'm going to add a little bit of the school bus. Yeah. Um. I have a couple palettes. I have a big one, and then I think I have a small one. Just knowing, I didn't know it's gonna mix like this. Okay, this one doesn't need any water, and I'm just gonna kind of mix it. Put that right on top of the other one. More of that orange. I'm going to add a little more orange. It might be kind of an ombre carrot. We'll see. Mixing it just right on there. And we're going to put it in with the blues. We're definitely going to get a brown. And I got a little, let's clean off my hands. this in the water yeah these would make great gifts some people are even buying chalkboards like from the Dollar Tree okay that has to dry before I can put that on so we're not using the eye 
that up here. Okay, what letter is next? SP. SPR. Yeah, I need that to dry first. Yeah, and I have these finger things from my glue gun that I can use to swirl it. I've used those too. Alrighty then, let's, let's do this color. Or the carrot blade. The carrot blade. And this has some green on it. Okay, so R is next, correct? I'm not wrong in that, right? Okay, and then I'm going to do a little bit of that green and yellow in the R. R is next, correct? <laughs> it's weird going backwards. No, you don't have to defuzz them every time you use them, just the first time. And you should defuzz them on a clean towel, not a towel that you have all these little paint chips in from the lids. Oh yeah, I don't want to heat these. Okay. Oh, you know what? I'm not sure that's completely dry. too high. I can actually see it better looking at my video. I think that's pretty good. Okay, now we we're going to do that pretty green you guys made me make. <laughs> made me make. The pretty green I love. Oh, let me 
Let me do just a little of this. I'm going to have to remake some of this. This is a pretty color to have on hand. This is the lime and the white mixed together. It's beautiful. And then the yellow. Oh, I forgot to mix this up. I think I use the yellow. I don't remember. Thank you so much. I think, was it Sue's idea for the carrot as the eye? Okay. So that was a cute, cute, cute idea. Okay, this one has green on it. So. Let's put this back in this green one. Oh, I don't want to go off that edge. Put this back in here so I can save some of that. Okay, so now we're going to be moving in with some yellow. I don't want to put this back in the yellow because, oh, let's put it back in here. We'll mix it in with that pretty green. I think yellow will make it pretty. I'm going to spray this a little. sprayed it too much. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens with this. And to not stretch them, you're supposed to take it off straight and not diagonally. Pretty! Except for right there. I'll get a Q-tip. I was thinking it was Sue who suggested, but I could be wrong. Oh, was it Linda? Linda did. You're right. Sorry, Linda. Okay, I'm going to clean off. Okay, so the P and then the S are next. And I think I'm going to do a little bit... Okay, what colors? Maybe a little, let me just try to work with this. Um, mix a little of the yellow with the school bus. And 
and maybe then going to pink and then magenta. We're not doing red because we're doing more pastels. Oh, that's right. Sue suggested the big top on the carrot. Okay, let's do the P. Oh, I forgot to write this. This must be the R. See, we need to clean this off. Oh, I got to dry that. We won't have this problem after we get these letters done. I won't have to dry every single thing before I move on. Yes, and I want to thank you guys for helping me with this. I've always said I'm not the one with the talent. I really feel like my subscribers have all the talent and I just inspire you and give you ideas and then you guys do amazing things with it. Um, a little more. Yay, Carol joined. It's an amazing team if you guys want to join under me. It's, I'm under Ken Hess, and Ken is an amazing leader in this. He's been doing it longer than I have. And then his upline is amazing and helps out also. It's a huge, awesome team to join. I'm going to have to run to my bathroom before I'm completely done and fix this. And I think I'm going to redo the G. And I don't like that right there. Okay. This is so hard to get straight. Let's do fine. Yeah. So I'm looking at my video. Otherwise, I'd have to put my head way over the top. I think that looks good. Is that good enough? He heard me say chicken, the roasted chicken. Okay. So I'm going to do a little yellow and then a little bit of the school bus. And. Then I was going to go pink, correct? Let's, I think so. Because this is kind of too bright. It's the kind of the color of that. I'm thinking that might be too bright. This, is, this actually looks more orange than that. Maybe I'll put just a dot of this in there. That's what I'll do. We're, we're just going to play. You're supposed to stir this up to a um, yogurt consistency. That works best, they say. S, P, okay, so I have S is next. The S will be more the pink, pinker tones. I'll do just a little bit of this. I really need to mix this up better. 
but I'm just gonna maybe just right there. Oh, my G and N are really close. They are, aren't they? I just might take off that G. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm wiggling it back and forth. I'm pulling it down. That's gonna be cool. I don't have a thing for this, do I? Where's my all colors together? One jar. Okay. Let me wipe this off and because that I might be able to put back in the correct jar. In the school bus jar. And I'm just gonna wipe it off and do the yellow. Wiggle this yellow in here a little. Who's interested in knowing what color? that paint is going to turn out to be someday. See, I didn't clean that off real well right there on that P. So there's a little bit of a P that's not perfect. I wonder if I can, I don't think I can fix it. Time to clean my hands. Do you guys, this, the light is like right, real bright right there. Let me see if I can pull this down just for a minute. It's not in the bright. Do you see with the light not shining right on it? I can't control that light. If I turn it off, you won't be able to see much. Yeah, it is a little distressed. So is the frame. So I guess that's good. And a lot of the their transfers are distressed. Okay, we're almost done, guys, with the first word. The other the other ones I promise won't take this long. Okay, we have to dry that.
You know, I just thought of like, I, I probably do not want to get rid of this and do it over again to make this per, I can't just wipe it off and redo one for summer or fall. Um, or I could spray it with Krylon and, um, save it forever. But then I was thinking, then I have to buy another board. Then I was just thinking, I don't have to buy another board. I could put, once, if I spray Krylon on this, make it permanent, I can, I can put, uh, Cricut chalkboard vinyl over it. And do something and just put it over it for summer. And then pull that off for next spring. Yeah, I like the idea that you can clean off and reuse. So happy we're getting on the S. Oh, I need to mute my computer. Is that guy, is that noise driving you nuts? It's notifications and stuff. I think it's good. Yeah, I don't know. If I, Sue, if I were to spray this with Krylon, there's something under there. The sticky of the vi vinyl would not pull it off because I would have, um, because it would be covered with the Krylon, a sealing over it. So if I sealed it first, it would be okay. Okay. I was going to do pink on this. Let's do just a teeny, teeny, teeny bit of the orange. I gotta work with this orange lighter. Okay. <laughs> That's all the orange I'm putting on it. Okay, then I'm gonna do the bubble gum and mix it into this. You think like, you know? And the chalkboard vinyl is not permanent. So I think it was. Yeah, I have the We Are Memory Keepers laser thing. I've never opened it. I think it still might be in the box. And uh, Kelly, my assistant, put it away for me. And, okay, this one's weird. So the stir's round. Hmm. Huh. And I'm not really sure where it's at, and I've never even used it yet. But next time I do letters like this, I think I may get the laser out. And I have a really huge chalkboard. I might have to go to my other table. And just so I can do live videos over on the other table and in front of my glass doors so I can use this stuff everywhere in the house, I uh, bought a 32-foot cable, USB cable, so I can hook it up, and then I can have a camera everywhere. So I can share with you guys. Because I'm going to put some of this on my kitchen cabinets, too. Okay, wait a minute. Let me see. I would do the dark pink ending in the light pink. Oh, I think it's too late now. Isn't it? I think you might be right. Let me see what I can do. I don't know. Well, I could wipe it off. The 
This might be pretty though. I think you're right. So it won't be this dark of pink, which actually will be just fine. <laughs> Lots of pink on there. And I like that orange mixed with the pink, run orange. I want more of this. Okay, we're gonna be experimenting. I'm gonna wag it in. I just made up that term, wag it in. Okay, we might just have to redo this S. stuff and nowhere to put it I wanted to redo it oh no okay let's show how we can Oh, and look, I took part of the P. I'm going to redo the S. Because you guys were so right about that. <laughs> this might take a while. If you're watching the replay and you're just here to see what it looks like, skip to the end. I actually might post a picture of this in my community with the video link. There, we can redo the S. I need to clean it now. But while I'm doing that, well, let me clean the P. Oh, I can do the P later. These really don't take long to clean. And I'm cleaning all this fuzz from my teal towel off of it. I really fuzz this one good. Okay, we're gonna do a little orange on the S and then we're gonna do dark pink to light pink because that was so correct.
<laughs> go with my original idea. Too late now. Because I think that pink, I think this color is closer to orange and I like the two of them, them mixed. I didn't completely clean this that well. But it's sticky again and wet. Let me see how close this is. It's too close. Whoops. This has to be dry so it doesn't mess up my key. I think it's dry. Okay. Now I was doing just a little bit of the orange. And actually I liked a little more of the orange. Mixed with that dark pink. which is magenta. I try to not use so much of this. See, I love this orange with the magenta. That is beautiful color. You guys can't see the color that well because this is right where the light spot is. Okay, we're gonna do some pink. Get a little more pink and I'm going to mix it in. It's okay. The pink did not mix in with that red very well. Oh, let's see what happens if I put it right back down. I'm gonna make a mess. I want it to blend in more. And it did pull some of that pee off, which made it more distressed, which I actually like. Okay, I just may fix that later. Okay, whatever I need to do here, I'll do that later. 
like after I do everything else, just because I want to get on with this, don't you guys? I want to do some bunnies. And I'm going to clean off some of these. Okay, now we have have an awesome. Should I just do those in white? What do you guys think? No, I'm not going to leave it. I'm going to wait until I do a little more and then I'll go, come back to it. Should I do more orange? Should I leave off that light pink? I'm thinking do more orange and magenta just on the S. Do the orange and magenta. Yes, white. Okay, so for the S, should I redo the S in orange and magenta and leave off the light pink? I like the pink. Okay, we'll think about it. to buy more of these wipes. The light pink gets lost. Leave off the pink, yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of don't think the pink fits with the colors too. Should I just take the S off and do it again? No, I'll just do it over it. Okay, I'm just gonna go do the S right now. Yeah, the value of the pink is too light. Oh, I could end it in the purple that I have on the explanation point. Okay, I'm cleaning the S. Should I do the light pink in the, for the have an awesome, or should I do them in white? Uh, I I'm going to do white. I think that, that the white brings out other colors, so I think I'm going to do those in white. But I am going to redo this. This is almost dry, so when this is dry. Yeah, I can't draw a straight line either. I can't cut a straight line either. Now I'm blowing it. Okay, let's go ahead and get ready for these. Okay, am I doing these straight? Oh. Let me move the 
part that you guys can see a little bit more. See, it's not even. Oops. I could like there's more space over here, but I could like put flowers over here. So I'm not worried about not having something here. I could do something else. Should I do these kind of like that? I think the S is the same both ways. Yeah, and balance out the bunnies. Good idea. <laughs> Sue, the S will be in a little bit. I'm still keeping the pink underneath it. It'll be fine. They're not all three colors. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna do these in white and do them all together. This will be really fast if I can. I should probably have this on my lap and get rid of all this stuff and throw it in my garbage right under my table. Okay. Is that? This was so hard for me to see and it's not straight. Okay, this S is good now. Let me get this on. Okay, the S is not the same. And because I'm not wiping it off, it might show a little shadow of the other color, possibly, if I don't get it exact, which will probably be okay. Okay. All right, here we go. This is third time's the charm, right? Yeah, I need the, I can do this attitude, don't I? I hope I ordered more magenta. If not, I'm gonna have to place another order. Alrighty then. Well, let's get this finished.
Oh yeah, I was going to do a little bit of the purple. Yeah, I don't know about that now. Hold on. Let me see. I don't know if this will really show up. Alrighty. Whoops. Here's my little jar. Put the lid on there. Move this off. Oh, we'll bring that one off. <sighs> oh well. It is what it is. It's okay. It'll look better once the whole thing's done, right? These are going to be easy because these are going to be in white. Maybe I should practice this more before I try to do all this fun colors all blending together. I've only done two, three projects and they weren't this big and difficult. Oh, I see what you mean, Ro Ronnie. So Ronnie is saying, have an awesome, have this like this. The S has to dry. And then have, uh, I like that idea, but I don't think it's going to work because it's it's like too skinny like I feel like they need to be on top of each other all right white this is gonna be so easy guys I could put a cloud with rain coming under it here and then put a little bunny with the umbrella under here. Or I could just put flowers there. I'm going to wet this a little more. After doing that spring, the rest of the board is going to be so easy. We're going to scrape this back in the jar. You know, I'm just going to leave that there in the jar and put the lid on. Awesome. The S is not one color. I think you just can't see it right because of the light. I'll move the board so you can see it better. 
and I'm getting stuff in it. Oh my goodness. I want to get this off before it dries. And I'm... <laughs> Good thing the stuff just wipes off. There we go. In the water. Go get my Q-tips. They're in my bathroom. Okay. Have an awesome spring. Let me see if I can pull this down out of that light. Does that look a little better? I feel like I need more yellow. But we'll have more on the board. Wow, I've never had this many colors opened at once. This is the S. Yeah, it's on my fingernail. I'm going to try to get it off my fingers. Okay. And there's little pieces. What was this? Oh, one of these are awesome and one of them are day. I better write that on here. I don't know which one is which. I think they're about the same. Oh, this was the carrot top. And that was the carrot. I'm gonna set these other carrots over here. Okay. Let's get to the rest of the board. Okay. Oops. Bunny bunnies everywhere. I need my air. This doesn't really glow. I'm going to lift this up and dust it off. came in a huge box and this piece of wood over here is kind of broken. Can you see? You guys can't see. Right here where my finger is, over here in the bottom corner. It's like broken a little. But I think I can like glue the back of it and it'll be fine. I hate sending things back. I'm just going to remove this. You guys can't see. Let me fix it so you can see. This is dried, so I'm spraying it with water. And I'm just going to take that up so we have an empty canvas. I was just testing that and making sure it would stick to it. All right, now, what am I doing? Okay, I know I want the, bu the bucket. Bucket's not cut out yet. Let me cut the bucket. Oh, and we're gonna put tulips in the bucket.
I'm also going to put a carrot in the bucket, I think. One carrot sticking out the top. I'm going to try. We'll see how that works. And I'm going to put at least all of the bunnies on the thing. Let's cut out. the dandelion. So I'm going to have a bunny holding the dandelion because I absolutely love it. Okay, I feel like we're moving now. I've only been in the video for an uh, For how long? Started at 4.30, right? Yeah, so an hour and a half almost. <laughs> I told you from the beginning this would be a long video. All right, we're doing the bucket. We're doing this bunny. Bunny's gonna look at the bucket. Do we want the bunny to stand on a carrot looking in the bucket? No, I think he's too high then. Let me cut these apart. Oh, I could put the carrot laying down. I could put the carrot like this, laying down. Oh, what color are we gonna use for the bucket? I don't have gray. It's coming, I don't have it yet. Yeah, that's what I thought. White usually makes the colors pop. I'm gonna have him stand on the carrot like this, sideways. Okay, so we're gonna have this and this kind of be up here he is gonna stand here and I'm also gonna put an end of the carrot coming out here and these will be green and I'll try to make these in, I don't know different colors these will be the pretty green Okay. Oh, white with a little black. Duh. Yeah. Great idea. Okay. Oh, I don't have black. <laughs> I forgot to order black, so I don't have black. I have... I have black in the ink. Can you mix the ink in the chalks? I could mix it with a little blue. I don't have brown either. The silver I have is a silver ink that is for, I want, can you put the ink on this? What do you guys think? Should I try the silver ink? Don't mix the ink with your chalk. I think my darkest color is this. I could mix a little bit of this with white just to have it a little Okay, no on the ink. <laughs> or how about this color? This is almost kind of grayish. This is coastal. I'm gonna use this. We're gonna use coastal. I don't think I've ever used coastal. No, I haven't, and I can hardly get the lid off. There we go. Okay, they say not to mix. Well, I'm one that doesn't always follow the rules, so I'm going to try mixing, but not today. I'll try it some other time. When I'm not live in a video trying to do this huge project. Yeah, coastal. 
We got it. You get Coastal in your kit when you sign up. Oh. <laughs> I'm ready to get it on there. I'm going to turn this over. I got to put this on first. You're late getting here. You're an hour and a half late, but you're not even late. We just barely started. <laughs> this is not crickle stick crickle. Cricut stencils. This is screen printing transfers by Chalk Couture, right? Couture. <laughs> Chalk Couture. See, there's this one is a good one to see. Can you see the screen in it? See my difference in my hand? There's a screen. And it's a direct sales company. You can, hey, we haven't decided where we're putting the, this. Okay. Should we kind of just put it under here under the awesome and then make the tulips pretty colors next to the white? I think so. Let's do that. And then over here, I might have a raining bunny, you know, sitting under the umbrella. So you guys get 40% off these transfers if you join my team underneath me. Or you can buy the stuff from my store if you just want to try it out. But I have over 50 people on my team already. And I'm on Ken Hess's team. So you're also on his team. Okay. Let's get started, you guys. I'm feeling so much better about this now that we got that semi done. I still might have to fix something. I don't know. That G, I think. Or it just might have to stay that way. I'm always using too much. I don't need to use too much. You just have to make sure you can't see any more dark through it. And then you put it back in the jar so you save it. need to do this on my big table. Perfect. I'm gonna put this in the water. Okay. You can kind of see a line down the middle that I didn't scrape up very well. Can't see it in the video. That looks like the perfect color, isn't it? Okay, this has to dry. Just to make sure this is completely dry, let's just do something else. And we'll get done faster. Okay, we're doing the flowers and stuff here. I know what we're doing here. We're gonna do the bunny standing up there looking at it. He's gonna stand on a carrot. And these flowers are gonna go in the bucket. And these will also go on him. So I'm gonna do him white with some, I think a white tail and little pink, little lines. And the pink. Okay. What are we doing here? Are we doing the umbrella? What do you guys think? I could do 
this cloud. Let me move the camera. Oh, my mouse is in here. I'm not moving the camera, I'm moving the... Okay. So, I could do the this at an angle. Put this cloud up here and have some rain. Where's my rain? I lost the rain. How do I write bucket on here? It takes a little over a week to get your kit. Did I already cut out the... That's a letter, I think. Oh, here's the rain, I already cut it out. Should I do a cloud with rain and then do an umbrella? Don't touch your bucket with the stencil. And after a week, about a week after you order today's Sunday, so a week from Wednesday, Carol, you will get a coupon for 50% off your order. I'm going to cut these. I'm not sure what I'm going to do the rest over here. We're just going to add bunnies, I guess. I could maybe add some flowers, some carrots coming out of the ground. I don't know. Yeah, I could put some of these. I have bigger flowers and stuff I could do. Hi, Shay. Should I do this cloud in coastal too? Come on. The cloud barely fits. Should I do this? It takes 50% off the entire order. I Mine just shipped because my order was huge. But since I placed my order, what I spent on that order, I've already earned in commission. Yeah, it's actually around 16.6% .6 off because you already get 40% off. Yeah, so it's 50% off based on retail price. Okay. Tell me, should I put this cloud here and put some rain underneath it and an umbrella? The little bunny holds the umbrella. You can tell me no. I might. The kit is $99 for $230 value. Okay, no, too squished. I could just do a flower there or something. I don't have to do the rain. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this up here. It's an option. He could just hold this. I could, I could, oh, what if I just do rain? Do some rain and then do this. Or do I not need rain? Think about it. Okay, we're gonna do flowers in the bucket. Sandy, there's a link to join my team in the description of a video, but if you can't find it, um, comment on the video afterwards and I will help you. Okay. Where's my bunny? All right, let's do the top. We're gonna put this here. Uh, the sign up link is under, it's under links. If you go to the description of the video and look under links, I think it's the top link is my store and then the second link is sign up. But if you go to my store, there's a join button too, I think. perfect it also I'm also getting an old truck that has things that you can put in the in the truck and I'm wondering if these fit in the truck too hi Tamitha okay you know what? I'm gonna do that first where's that pretty green Let's do, and we don't have a lot of this left. Okay. We're gonna ombre the green. That was a mixture of green for those of you that just joined. I mixed this green with white and I got that green. And Meadow, where did you go? This is Emerald, not Meadow. Meadow is the ink color, the green ink. And I'm making a mess on my fingers again. Can you tell I like ombre colors? If you watch the beginning of this video, my hair is kind of ombreish too. Okay. Not really ombre, more just multicolored, pink and purple. Okay. If you want this bunnies, you're gonna have to place an order because <laughs> you don't get this in your kit. I need to clean this up. 
I don't have a green. And when you order stuff, order more of these. You only get one of these. It's You get double the size. I cut this one in half. The little squeegee. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is going to go back in my mixed greens. So I went from the top going down, now I'm going from the bottom going up. I'm gonna wipe that in here too. And then I'm gonna go over it again from top, bottom to top. We're just gonna see what happens. So pretty. Okay. Now I need this to dry before I put the flowers on it. Let's go ahead and do the carrot. Oh, and I need to write on the back of these so I remember which back piece goes with what. I think tulip stems is this one, I'm guessing. I need to write on the back carrot. Tulip flowers. Standing bunny. Oh, wait, this is bunny number one. Bunny, because they're numbered. One. Okay. Let's do this one. For those of you that uh, like Tamitha, I think you're an admin for May May. May May bought this too. May May is underneath me. She has not done a video yet. So if you want to join under May May, let me know. I can give you May May's link. Or you can ask May May for it. But I have her link too. I think. Yeah, I do. If I can find it. Okay, we're gonna, I'm just gonna put it here on the edge, overlap it a little. And we're gonna do a little of this orange. I can't just do one color. I think it's a disease. Is it a disease to not be able to just do one color thing and I have to make things more difficult? I'm going to put my finger on. Yeah, and there is a fee every month. It's $19.95, and you get a 
transfer shipped to you for that and a website where you get 25% commission. And like I said, I've already got commission on my huge, huge order. We have a message from Ian. Alexa, play my messages. One for Melody Lane from Ian. Hey Melanie, I just wanted to cheer you on and say that you're doing great. Yes, I'm still watching your <laughs> long YouTube right now. It's looking really, really good. I love how you did the rainbow colors. Thank you. Received just now. Thank you, Ian. Okay. Where's my carrot? Top. I can't put this on yet, only because the stick will go over this and that's not dry. Yes, you can sell. I don't, you know what? I don't know how they work. You can sell anything you make from there, but I don't know if you can sell finished on their site. You can add product to your site to have it in the app. So if you do like a class or some people are doing like make and take things at people's houses and stuff, you don't have to do that. But if you want to, you can. Or if you're at a craft show and you're selling your stuff, it will help add tax and all that stuff for you. So you don't have to collect sales tax and all that. It kind of does it for you. I'm still kind of new and I'm not really interested in that part, but I have to learn more about that part of the business because I know a lot of people want to do that. From the videos I saw in the help, they have lots of videos that will help you through things. And then also Mandy, who is Ken's upline, who is my upline, has videos in a Facebook group that helps out so much. So any questions I have, I usually go to her and Ken and they answer them for me. Okay, I'm gonna make sure this, I was just drying the carrot, but I wanna make sure this is done. So what I'm doing is I'm fuzzing the transfer so it will come off easy. You know, like how Cricut mats are really strong at first. Thanks, music chick. I've never done this one. I'm lining these up. Can you see? I don't know if you can see through that. I can see like where these leaves go. So you can line it up perfectly. Okay, I don't know exactly what I'm doing. Do I have little, where's my little squeegee majiggies? Where did all my squeegees go? I want little ones. I'm gonna cut this one in half. I don't know where my other little ones are. And I ordered 10 more squeegees in my big order. Because I got, you know, the coupon. I'm going to use it, right? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go 
this one yellow. Ooh, with maybe a little orange. I just thought of that. I want a little orange on it. I love tulips that are ombre, and tulips actually come ombre sometimes. Okay, next one I will do pink. I did not um, purchase any foam ammonia free glass cleaner yet. And your, I don't know why it doesn't want to show your comment. Where's the pink go? Bubble gum. Because I don't have any pink on this board. I want to put some pink. I'm not doing these in rainbow color. Too late if I am. So I'm not. Oh, and I gotta hurry up and do this before it dries. I forgot. Purple. Orange. Okay, this is kind of hard to get these separate colors. Magenta. I'm going to drip. Do not mix your colors in your jar. I don't think I am. Where's my bottle? I don't think I have the lilac. Oh, and I could have done teal. I didn't do teal. You have to kind of get it off before it dries, otherwise it comes up with the spring. Oh, see, this one dried. Mm. Could have done a red one too. Dang it, see, it's, it's on this. I can maybe go over it again later.
Okay. I don't know if I'm gonna have a carrot come out of there just because I don't know how to do that just yet. I'm like afraid. Here's this piece. I'm gonna do the green on here. You think I should stack another carrot for the bunny to stand on? Let me get this on here first. Sure you're closing it on a clean towel. I keep putting stuff over that towel. And if you do sign up for me or any, from anybody under me on my team, look for an email for me and I send you all the links to the Facebook groups and some other helpful links. So if you have signed up under me, not everyone has read my email that I've sent out that has the Facebook group links. Guys, this is much more difficult to do it in camera. Okay, there's the carrot. Yeah, I can put a damp paper towel over it to keep it from drying. I forgot about that. I don't know, I might just have to redo the flowers. I'm using Lysol disinfectant wipes. Hi, Joan. This is the longest live video ever. It's been two and a half hours. Okay. <laughs> I knew this would take a while. Okay, now we have this bunny. Now I think if she stands on two high up bunnies, she'll be too high. Too high up carrots, I mean. I have to wait till that dries. And I think I have to fix the flowers. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, just touch up the flower. I'll go get a paintbrush and do that. Okay. Thanks for your advice, guys. Okay. Bunny number one. Okay, this bunny's just going to have to be a white bunny. I said I'm not going to do them all white. We have to fuzz the bunny. We're fuzzing the bunny. Fuzzing the bunny. I have to write what this is on the back. Carrot stem. I have so much to clean up. It's better if you clean up as you go. Maybe not during a live video when you're doing a project this big. Okay. Bunny's gonna stand here. 
So he's going to hold on to the bucket and secure it. I know I'm not putting him straight, but... And the bunny has things that go inside his ear and his belly and his tail we have to put on. I do. I have that sand color. Should I do this one in the sand color and do a different bunny white? Where's the sand? Should I do the bunny in this color? Or should I do white? I think white up against the pale. And then I'll do a bunny in that color later. Yeah, instead of paper piecing the bunny, I'm chalking the bunny. See how fast it is to do the bunny? You know what? I had that line. See that line right there? I did not get that line very well. Bunny in the water. Okay. I'm just gonna blow her a little and then I'm gonna do another bunny. No, I haven't had dinner yet. <laughs> it's seven o'clock. Move this stuff. I don't have enough room. Um, let's do the bunny that's gonna hold the wish, dandelion wish. Should I do this bunny here and holding this? And then I have just a bunny standing over here. And then I have this bunny put over here maybe. And we can put some little flowers around too. I also have we can lay some carrots around too. Where should I put this? You could add the top of the tulips next to the bunny's mouth like he ate it off.
I don't know what you mean. Oh, I know what you mean. For which bunny? Like this one? But I want him holding this one, I think. I could add a few of these in here too. Is he just supposed to be holding the balloon? I don't know. Peeking in the pail. This one with the little tulip coming out of his mouth. That's a good idea. Okay, I can't do him holding the balloon because the balloon is so big. The balloon is huge. Okay, the bunny with the umbrella. See, this is so big. It almost doesn't make sense. Unless I put, I have to put this on first and then the bunny. I don't know. Okay, you like it dandelion. Maybe right here. I'm gonna set these over here. Yeah, I think he can hold the dandelion. I'm just going to make it so he's holding the dandelion. Yeah, when he dries, he's going to have extra inserts for the ears and his face, some of them on his face and stuff. Oh, I didn't write on this one. This is number two, Bunny. Yeah, right on this side. I cannot write Bunny two. Oh, I just smeared it. Okay, I'm gonna do this one in sand. But there's something underneath it. Yeah, I can do the stem so it's not so long. I don't have to put the stuff. This one's not been opened.
I'm going to clean one of my squeegees. I do have a brand new squeegee over there I haven't opened yet. Oh, and there's one on the floor. And I got this chalk on my shirt, but it washes off. Oh, I don't have a straw hat for the bunny. Now remind me, the insert for his ear is right here, and so this is going to get dumped in the water. I'll have to clean it before I do that part. I think I want to put a little white on him too. These can be more than one color, right? Just to lighten them up a little. before it dries. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm going to lay more carrots around. I could do the carrots that are coming, supposed to come out of the bucket, like coming out of the ground. Okay, this one should be dry. Let's find his inserts. That was bunny number one, right? Four. It's for the sitting down bunny. It's for that bunny. Bunny one. Can we do a white tail? Do we do these all at the... Oh, we do. We can put these all on at the same time. Amazing. Pink tail? Is this supposed to be all pink? Don't forget the white tail. This has the tail on it.
So I'm not sure if I want the tail pink or white. I'm gonna line this up. I'll put a little pink with it. Yeah, I was thinking I could do sand. But I think I'm going to do sand more on that one. I'm gonna do white on that too. With a little pink over it. on perfectly yeah. okay and then I'll have to go back and do the little it has little can you see little spots little hairs for his tail okay I have not heated him up at all, so make sure he's dry. And then we'll do the dandelion. He's gonna hold the dandelion. Klutz, her name is Joan. She says, say, how did you spend your Sunday evening? Reply, watching paint dry. <laughs> okay, now, do I do the stem in another color? The top part of this, I think, should be in white. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna try to skip. I'm gonna try to do a little of the mix. Why don't I just do the whole thing in one color? Why do I have to have this problem where I just can't do that? I've never opened the mint. I'm going to do the bottom part in this. Don't spill this on my board. Okay, next time before I do this, I'm gonna like stir all the colors, which I usually try to stir all the colors before I start, but I didn't today, and I had no idea I would use all these colors. Okay, I'm just gonna do a little bit here. Like I'm only painting in a little bit.
I'm probably going to go over this with white too. Okay. Where's my white? Is there a single tulip? No, but I could use, but I wanna do the, the dandelion. I could try to do one of those tulips, like that tulip there. I'm going to add these separately. See how this looks. Hmm. Where'd that one go? Oh, here it is. Let me see if I can. I think this dried too much. Should have done the white part first. I think I like the white bunnies. I, I don't know if I like the color. I might need to add a little white to him. Okay. This is the tulip. No, dandelion. Um, you probably could use an old credit card or something. I have, I have this one too. This is huge. This one. I haven't used that one yet. I also have this one I bought from Amazon, but it's like so big too. Uh, okay. What are we doing next? Okay, we're gonna put this one over here because we're gonna end up putting some flowers or something up in this corner and he's kind of looking up at those or something. I don't know. This one's gonna go here. This goes with that. This, this is, yeah, that goes with that one. And what number bunny is this? He has some inserts too, doesn't he? Oh, here's some number three. He's number three. So he has these things where we can even put something around his eye. Like I could put some of this color around his eye in this. I wonder if I could put that on that one too. No. I could put this on there. Okay. 
Let's do this bunny. You guys want to do this bunny? Finish the bunny and tulips in the pail. What am I? Let me get a paintbrush. Oh my gosh, I've been sitting too long. Okay, it's going on three hours. I'm just going to add a little paint to this one. It's not paint, it's chalk paste, but I'm just going to... I don't know, it looks okay for singing. Um, wipes. I'll let that dry. I'm going to clean my other bunny part so I can get him finished. Now, this is taking me longer than normal, I think, because I am asking you guys' this opinion and stuff, and I can't decide what to do. Okay. Okay, we have those dry, and since those dry, we can finish these two bunnies. Let's move on to this bunny. Okay, Linda, thank you so much for watching. You go take your shower and watch Big Brother, and I just may be here still. But you can skip to the end if I'm not. Okay, I'm, get, I'm getting happier that we're getting stuff done. I feel we are accomplishing more. I'm just going to stick him up. Like he's not as close as the other one. Oh, we can't, you guys can't see. Sorry. Let me move you over. Okay, we're going to do white, correct? I lost the white chalk paint. Oh, it's up here. Thank you, Linda. Oh, Linda, take it, or Janelle, take it out of the box. I'm going to clean this off. Okay. 
I am so glad you guys are enjoying this because I know I'll have comments complaining about this. Now make sure you don't leave the streaks in it like I did. I did on the bucket. And I did a little bit on the other white bunny. And you gotta make sure you get it all. Don't leave any spots. And you can use these transfers more than once, like 12 to 15 times, sometimes more. If I use that big one, oh, I don't even have it open. I say you won't have any streaks. Hi, Christy, glad you're still here. Okay, into the water. dry. Let me put some sprigs on his tail. My fingers are sticking. Um, we're going to do this in white. Where did my white go? I keep putting it up here. Okay, you guys can't see that, but I can. And I made a mess. But I know you guys can't see that. There's no way you can see that. The little white, the like little white hairs in the tail. It's so cute. See, after this was even in the water, it is so sticky. It was, it's, they're sitting in the water. And I don't know. Does this fit that 
open. Okay. And this bunny is the ear. Which way does it go? I think it goes this way. Oh, and a few bunny footprints. That would be cute. Does it go that way? Or maybe this way. I'm not sure which way this goes. Try it this way. Okay, what color? We can do pink on the inside, can't we? Hmm, that's kind of dry. Should have done pink tail on him. Yeah, I think that's how it goes. You guys are awesome. Yes, I am a beginner. <laughs> Okay, I'm just going to put that back in the water so I don't have to find the thing to put them on. All right. What are we doing? I'm really getting tired. Should I finish this another time? He could be holding the umbrella behind him. This guy? Look, his arms are behind. Oh, you can't see. Sorry. Let me move this. This little guy? I could have him sit here and he could hold the umbrella behind him. Because his hands are behind him. And have it raining on him. And I could add some flowers. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to have to quit. Let me do this. Oh, let me find the other piece for him. Here, let's give him, because I haven't eaten. And I'm getting really tired, and I have to clean up all this. I have to clean all these transfers. So I might just leave it for now, and I'll clean everything up. And then I'll come back maybe tomorrow and finish. How's that sound? And then we'll have more ideas for this. And please, if you guys think of things... Put them in the comments after this video is done. It might take a while for this video to process so it's to start over. But if you guys think of things, put them in the comments because I still have lots of open room and things that I can do. And I think I'm getting too tired to be able to think about it tonight. I'm going to heat him up just a minute. 
<laughs> Janelle says we will come help clean. Yeah, and I think we'll do better after it's not done, but we'll finish it tomorrow. I can come back on again live and do it tomorrow. I got to find bunny footprints or something where I can make bunny footprints. Okay, where says I go? Okay, that, is that supposed to be this eye? Oh, maybe it's this eye. I'm like, it just doesn't fit. Where's that sand color? So this one's gonna be related. Well, they're all related. They're just different bunnies. And then I'll feel freshed and we'll have It'll be cleaned up. So this is just a mess. And I can be more creative when it's cleaned up. I wish Callie, my assistant, was working tomorrow, but she's not. And hey, if I don't come back tomorrow, I because I have another video I was working on, but I'm waiting for information from Cricut first. They gave me stuff, and I went to find the links, and it's not on their site. So... There's a video I was waiting to do last Thursday, and I can't finish it. It's a cricket video. So I'm waiting. <laughs> and then the insides of these I'll do in pink. Oh, and he has pink cheeks. That's what those are. Look at the bunny three faces. He is looking up so raindrops would be great. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I, I think I want to put some rain over there. And I could have the rain coming in like this way so it's just starting to rain over here. Thank you, Huntress. Yes, you can watch the replay. It's a long one. You might want to watch it in double speed. So here, let me move the camera so you can see. Oh, you guys, could you even see me doing that? I don't know. There's the little bunny with a patch over his eye. And let me move this. And I'm going to lay some more carrots and stuff around. I might put a whole thing of carrots coming out of the ground here. And maybe some more carrots. Yeah, I think I need grass too. And I was looking through my transfers and I didn't see any. But I ordered a whole buttload of transfers. So um, they're coming. Here's me. Look, I look white as a ghost when my light is on. I usually do videos with my light off, but it's too dark. So here's my hair. It's a mess right now. It looked much better at the beginning of the video. Okay. That's prettier. Yeah, I want to try. Oh, and I have like different flowers and stuff I want to add to it. Different, um, different things of the flowers. It's going to look prettier. Okay, thank you guys for watching. You were amazing that um, stayed with me this long, but it definitely needs more carrots. Yeah, I could probably use the tulip leaves as grass. I just might have to try that. That is a great idea. I could put the tulip, le tulip leaves all the way down the whole bottom of the whole thing. Even if it covers up part of this bunny, because he could be sitting in the grass. Thank you, Sue, so much. Yeah, carrots and grass.
Thank you guys. You guys are amazing. Okay, now I'm going to stop. <laughs> Because we could just sit here and say goodbye, and I can say how amazing you guys are, and you say how amazing I am. But it's time to go. Love you guys. Bye.